What we have here are a bunch of black soldier fly larvae. They might look like garden variety maggots, but a bunch of them were able to navigate the ramp. There are a few that, that I spread in the yard already. So they shy away from the light very quickly. But there's there's a bunch of them in here. And I was told that regular house flies cannot navigate a ramp that's that steep. So this is the collection bucket for the biopod. That's for composting. What you see in here, and here's the uh, banana peel. They seem to really like the uh, the coffee grounds. Since these guys have really started showing up in, in large numbers, uh, the number of fruit flies has gone down a lot. Okay, what happens is the mommy fly, who never eats, by the way, once she's mated and is full of eggs, she goes sniffing around for rotten vegetable stuff that her babies can eat. So she, she smells around for rotten stuff. When she smells it in here, she flies over to it, and she flies through here, through here, and this is just about a perfect place for her little egg. They like to lay their eggs in a tight little crevice so that other insect predators can't eat the eggs. And some more not. She'll lay like, about 500 eggs in here, and then she flies away and dies. I think three, three to seven days later, they hatch, they fall into the food waste, and they start eating, and they start eating, and they start eating. Soldier flies are very shy. They don't bug people. They don't bite. They don't sting. They're not very strong flyers because they're, they're pretty fat. But as you can see, the, the larvae are very photophobic. They stay away from the light because if they're visible, then predators can eat them. Then once the larvae are done eating, their instinct is to flee the pile. Whatever it is that their mother laid their eggs on, when they're done feeding, they're ready, they're ready to pupate and turn into an adult. Before that, they clean their gut out. They poop everything out, basically and their mouth turns into a climbing hook, and they climb away from the pile in whatever direction, looking for a good place to pupate. And again, they look for a little a crack or a crevice or a tight little place where they can stay warm and stay out of sight until they turn into an adult. Well, that's where this comes in. This makes them self-harvesting. When you have earthworms, you have to get the earthworms out of the earth. It's a big operation to separate earthworms from the earth, the compost. These guys are self-harvesting because of their instinct to, to flee the pile at the end of their pupation cycle. But once they hit the wall, they turn right or turn left, and they keep on going. So even if he hits right here, he goes the wrong way, and he keeps on trucking, he will end up over here on the ramp. And the ramp is, I think, 35 degrees, and I'm told that the housefly larvae cannot make it up a ramp that's this steep. So the ones that I found in my bucket, they look like housefly mangas, but I don't think they are. And yeah. essentially, these creatures, they eat the food waste. Thank the food you. waste is not going in a landfill. It's not oh. generating methane in the landfill. Alright. Amazing. <laughs>